Hey everybody, welcome to the Plant Stock channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jesse. So we have some really great news that a lot of us have been waiting for, and it is Beyond Meat's latest product in collaboration with PepsiCo, their Beyond Jerky, their plant-based jerky. We've been waiting for it. We've seen it a little here and there on the net, but it seems to be official now. It's out. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. We're going to talk about what that could be worth for Beyond Meat and what is the actual most important of this and if we, there is something else we could wait for soon. So again, that's going to be the focus of today's video. Guys, as always, I would appreciate an early thumbs up to spread this to more people out there. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button if you are interested in Beyond Meat, Tattoo Chef, Oakley, the very good food company to name a few. And if you want to have access to talking to other people, like-minded people who are interested in this space, take a look in the description down below to my free Discord. We're reaching 550 people soon. I give you five morning briefings a week on the overall market and our plant stocks. All right, guys, thank you for your help. And I wanted us to take a look at the video here from Yahoo Finance and maybe comment on some of the things they're talking about here. So let's take a look at this together. Plant-based protein reporter Brian Sazi is back with us with the latest <laughs> offering from that industry. Saz, jerky, what we're talking about? It's, uh, it's jerky time for Beyond Meat there, uh, Julie. And uh, Beyond Meat coming out really was one of its first uh, new product category, and that is, in fact, uh, jerky. These products are now hitting shelves. They're already uh, interestingly sold out on Walmart.com. You can see it there on that very screen. That is, in fact, the product. Three flavors, teriyaki, original, and... Wow, that's news to me that it actually sold out. I mean, that's a good sign of anything. I mean, probably they didn't have that many to begin with there, but still selling out is a good sign. Hot and spicy and, you know, 250 calories per package, uh, five grams of fat, protein pack, 28 grams of protein. And really for Beyond Me, this is uh, their entry into a segment that is more than more than a billion dollars in the U.S. That is the beef jerky market. Of course, they're doing it uh, via the plant based route because uh, that's what they, in fact, do. This product is made from mung bee protein and pea protein. I did get to try this uh, recently, Julian, and it tastes Pretty good. It does, in fact, taste like some form of jerky. Now, is it exactly like beef? No. It has its own unique taste, but still, it is. A, it, to me, it tasted pretty good. What doesn't taste good, didn't taste good, is their competitor product. That's out of Crave. Uh, that business used to be owned by Hershey's. They sold it back to the owner, I believe. That product is awful. It doesn't even belong to deserve to be on the shelf. It's just a terrible product. Spit it right out. Worst thing I ever tried. But still, this is beyond me looking to grow sales. Is it just me or... Does this guy seem kind of bullish on Beyond? ...in a still growing category. Good to see it nonetheless. Well, here's my question for you. Does beef jerky taste like beef? Uh, it sort of tastes like beef. And look at my take here, Julie. I mean, this, this sums up my overall view on it. It is yum yum in my tum tum. I mean, this was a, this was a very good, very good product. It kind of actually did taste like beef just a little bit. But overall, uh, I think... Uh, a very good product. You know, I was talking to Ethan Brown, the founder of, of Beyond Meat, about this. He's very jazzed up about it, uh, as you would think. And uh, my only question now is, is what is Pepsi uh, actually doing on this? This comes, uh, this is the first product from the collaboration between uh, Pepsi and Beyond Meat. That is called the Planet Partnership. Beyond Meat uh, developed this product. Uh, PepsiCo, I believe, is supposed to be out there marketing or helping marketing it. Be curious to see what they're going to be doing here. With and that's the interesting thing here, guys, right? PepsiCo is the second largest food company in the world, right? I mean, they're worth, I think, around 250 or 250 billion dollars, the market cap. I mean, they got their foot everywhere in the world. Their distribution is super huge. I mean, this is the kind of deal you want to see, right? And this is obviously, my understanding is in the U.S. right now. But again, what a huge distribution that PepsiCo has. So, guys, this is really great news. I mean, I'm glad it was yum yum in your tum tum. To me, jerky tastes more like salt and spices mm. than well, there, any kind there's of sodium in here, underlying Julie. protein I'm not gonna, product. Yeah, look, so I'm not going to hide it. Uh, what I'm saying is it's an easy, it's a, it makes sense as a thing to make plant-based jerky. But yeah. I, I'm also, I also wanted to point out, the uh, and our producer Val Caval reminding us that the stock, the Beyond Meats, I, I don't know how much jerky it's going to take to to make that stock recover. 
Well, I, I, hopefully they sell a lot of bags. I will note this lastly, real quick on the on the uh, salt component here, Julie. One thousand four hundred twenty milligrams of sodium uh, in one package. That's wow. according to the uh, nutritional facts uh, on on the package listed on website uh, on Walmart.com. So again, yeah. but still quite good. Still, still tasty. And it is actually interesting that they are talking about what kind of possibility uh, when it comes to revenue and so forth. They were talking about it's basically a $1 billion market in the US, but apparently worldwide, global jerky snacks here, right? Uh, is valued to 3.9 billion. This is 2019, three years ago. So we should probably think about 4.2, 4.3 maybe now. I don't know. Uh, I've actually seen other numbers too that, yeah, around 2027, we could expect it to be around uh, around 5, 5.5 billion dollars. So my question, guys, but uh, you know, let me know down in the comments, what kind of percentage of this market do you think Beyond could actually take? Uh, because like this uh, guy here said that the competition that he's tried weren't actually very good at all. And uh, that's probably not true of all of them. But I don't think there's any other competition out there with a plant based or vegan branding as Beyond Meat, not even close. So uh, could I mean, on a global scale, if it's around five billion in a few years from now, could we see Beyond Meat get one percent? One person would be another 50 uh, another fifty million dollars in revenue per year. Could they get two percent? Could they get a hundred million a year? Now that that would be really interesting. So uh, obviously, right now, maybe not the biggest revenue driver in the company, but I still think we could see the possibilities here, right? And what we've seen in the article that I read about it, it says this is going to be at in hopefully in millions of homes in the U.S. Uh, it's going to be in thousands and thousands of different locations, gas stations, small retail stores, uh, you know, where you normally in the U.S. buy beef jerky. It's not something that's really huge in Sweden as of yet, uh, but hopefully we'll get that product. I really want to try that out. Guys, if you've tried this product, let me know down in the comments. I want to hear about this. Uh, but we've seen numbers, we've counted numbers in the Discord uh, that we could see it around 170,000 locations because... Basically, they've talked about that they would have it about four to five times the locations they have in the U.S. with Beyond products. So that would be around 170,000 locations. And there's probably a lot of gas stations and smaller stores all over the U.S., right? So, uh, so a lot of possibilities here. But for me, the most important here isn't actually the fact that what kind of revenues we'll get. I mean, I can't imagine now in the beginning, we'll just uh, get more than a couple of more millions uh, a year. And if it is, as you said, 1 billion in the US, and I think it's localized right now. So 1 billion and getting 1% of that, well, that would be about 10 million, which isn't bad, of course. Uh, could we get more depending on how popular plant-based products are going to get over the years? I definitely see that. So. So that's something that is interesting long term. But what I'm thinking is the most important. And guys, let me know if you feel the same is the brand awareness. Right now, people have been talking about the good thing with McDonald's and having those deals is that people will recognize it. Right. OK, this is interesting. Beyond Meat Burger. Let's go uh, try that. Let's go buy that. But what if it's such an easy, accessible thing, a, a little, little small snack? And my understanding is that it's really popular with beef jerky in the U.S., right? So if this is something you'll get uh, in like hundreds of thousands of homes and maybe millions with time, right? And you have this product at home. It's quite cheap. I think it's going to be like $3.98 uh, per package. But they're, they're going to be in different sizes. Uh, and you have this at home and you're like, you're enjoying it. You might be... Uh, a meat eater trying something new, right? Uh, and then, or a vegan eating this, but you haven't had the Beyond Burgers or the Beyond uh, Sausages, and you've tried this product, and the brand is Beyond. Well, that's an interesting product. I really like that product. Let's go try their other products, right? So I think when it comes to the brand awareness, hopefully it's going to become much larger now because of this product that's probably much more simple to just buy it, you know, uh, wherever you are when you're getting out of that store. Now, me personally, I haven't tried any uh, jerky, I think, or at least not for the last 20 years since I haven't eaten meat. And Major Thacker, 
well known on the show or on the uh, channel. He he's been basically a vegan now for ten years and vegetarian his whole life, being Hindu. Uh, but uh, he said here that he actually bought it and he really enjoyed it. Uh, and as he said, it's quite chewy and he's not u- used to this. So uh, so I'm thinking, even though you're not used to this kind of meat. You probably could enjoy it. And it's a good thing they're talking a lot about protein content. And I don't believe that the protein should be the most important that we should focus on. But that is what society normally does. So that could be a good selling point. Guys, if you want to hook up with us on a regular basis, join our free Discord where we talk about Beyond Me, Tattoo Chef, Oatly, the very good food company, and so on. And morning briefings, guys. Join us. All right, guys. That was just a quick update on what's been going on. I'm going to want to maybe do some more videos about this in the future, probably with Mayor and other people maybe talking about what we could expect from this uh, latest product. And also what is exciting is that it states in these articles that we could exp- this is the first product. This is the first product from their partnership with PepsiCo. And we know they're talking about other products. We know they're talking about beverages. Are we talking about Beyond Milk coming out there anytime soon? Now, that would be super amazing, right? All right, guys, that was it for today. I hope you got some value. Smash that like button if you got it. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do that. If you want to keep this conversation going, take a look in the Discord. Uh, In the description, it's free. All right, guys, as always, not financial advice, just my thoughts and opinions. Hope to see you tomorrow and peace out.